In today's video, we're going to be looking at the differences between the German Shepherd and the Bernese Mountain Dog. Both of these spectacular breeds have loyal followings and a deep devotion to their families. Let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Shepherd channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about German Shepherds. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect German Shepherds. So, if you're a lifelong German Shepherd lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new German Shepherd, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future German Shepherd video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out how similar or different these two amazing canines are. Let's look at the history of each of these breeds a bit so we can see how early jobs are still affect their temperament today. The German Shepherd dog was bred and developed in Germany, bred to protect farms and herds of sheep. They originally were not thought of as companions or brought into the house and stayed with the livestock all the time. That being said, they have excelled off the farm and in protection work for decades since the railways neglected a large part of their job. The breed was quickly recognised as an impressive all-round working dog and became popular in the US and rest of Europe. The breed was used heavily by the Nazis because of their courage and drive which caused love for the breed to drop until about a decade after the end of the war. Today the breed is rarely associated with the Nazi party and they are known all over the world for their superior military service work as well as loyal family guard dogs. The Bernese Mountain Dog was originally bred and used as both a drover and a drafting dog, meaning that they helped herd dairy cows to markets and pulled small carts around the Swiss countryside. With the Industrial Revolution and the convenience of trains, the burner found itself out of a job and the breed became extremely close to extinction. Thankfully, the dying breed was resurrected in the early 1990s and has made quite a comeback as a beautiful family companion. Next, we'll compare the appearance of these two regal breeds that are quite different other than their size. The German Shepherd, also considered a large-sized canine, usually appears as focused and light on its feet, supporting a thick, fluffy coat that hides their sleek body. Their erect ears and face are often black, while the rest of their body is a shade of tan with a dark, saddle-like mark over the middle of their back. They shed quite a bit and go through periods of heavy shedding twice a year, so have plenty of brushes and lint rollers handy. These two breeds are both strikingly beautiful and in very similar ways. The burner ranges from 70 to 115 pounds and is generally tri-coloured, meaning that they have predominantly black coats with tan and white markings. Their double coat is thick and their outer fur is long and silky with some feathering around the chest and haunches. They were bred to work in the mountains of Switzerland, so they do well in cooler or cold climates. Let's take a look at the temperament differences between these two loving breeds. Both are wonderful family dogs, though their temperaments and motivations are very different. German Shepherds are well known for the police and military work they've done in protection and scent detection, as well as being service dogs to those with disabilities. The German Shepherd is also good with all children once they've matured and have a good sense of when they need to be gentle. The German Shepherd is very protective and known for its excellent guardian and protection instincts. The Burner is a steadfast and quiet companion that is very loving and affectionate with their whole family. They tend to be watchful or aloof with strangers at first and can be imposing due to their size and deep bark. They are wonderful with children and other dogs and small animals, especially when raised with them, since they are bred to guard the farmyard. This breed has also been given the nanny title because of calm, watchful eyes that they keep on their children. Both dogs are suited to family life, but for different reasons. The German Shepherd is highly intelligent and will make decisions for themselves without clear guidance from their leader. That being said, they're incredibly willing to please, but can be bored easily and become stubborn if not given the proper mental stimulation. The German Shepherd is a very eager to please and intelligent dog, but will become stubborn or willful out of boredom, so much as they will if they also don't see you as their calm, consistent canine leader. The Burner has a very soft personality and only moderate energy, so don't expect them to be willing to achieve high levels of athletic prowess. Because of their size and general health, they might not be best for first-time owners, but the Burner is a mellow, large dog breed, ideal for those who are looking to have a large breed for their first time. Experienced canine leaders will find excellent guardians and family companions in both the German Shepherd and the Bernese Mountain Dog. 
These looking for a top-notch home guardian will love the German Shepherd for their energy and intimidating presence. Families looking for a less stubborn but equally capable home guardian will love the gentle Bernese Mountain Dog. Though before bringing either of the breeds home, consider your level of leadership and the time you'll be able to devote to these loyal breeds. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated German Shepherd videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the German Shepherd channel.